Why did I stop running for the University of Florida while in college? I get this question a lot and I made a video on it a while back when I first started making videos. So here is another video just on all my thoughts, my heart and everything on this decision. For those of you who don't know, I was a D1 runner for the University of Florida my first year of college. And then I decided to walk away from the team. It was not an easy decision, but you know, I saw this quote and my time hop app reminded me of it the other day, like I said in my last video on this topic. And it was, be strong enough to walk away from something that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. That hit me hard one day because I realized running, something that I loved, something that was just fun for me and freeing for me, was no longer that for my life. I realized when in college and having to make it everything, it took away all the joy of it, it took away my happiness, and I was just a wreck constantly. I was getting no sleep, I wasn't taking care of my body, and it was no longer serving a good purpose in my life. It was no longer growing me as a person and it wasn't making me happy. So in short, that quote sums up the reasons why I walked away from being a D1 athlete for the University of Florida. And you know, I loved the opportunity I had there. It was a great year. Um, the staff, the coaches, the team, everyone there was amazing and I did learn a lot throughout my year there. I learned how to push through times that were hard. I learned, I don't know, there was just so many things and I was having to realize that, you know, when things don't go according to plan, you have to be flexible in your plan because I went to college, you know, thinking I was going to be a runner all four years. I was Sarah Grace the runner. Um, I thought I was going to go to law school and so many good things did come out of my year of running like I said and one of the biggest things was I met the dietitian that worked with me as an athlete that made me realize that that's what I want to do and I switched my major sophomore year from pre-law with a double major in business and psychology to dietetics and a nutrition major that scared me to death because I hated the sciences, everything and you know I realized I had to step out of my comfort zone, I had to be flexible in my plans and realize the plan I had set up for myself wasn't what was right for my life anymore and I had to go with it and I had to trust that I was making the right decisions. And so today, like I, I've just gotten this question a lot as to what made you pursue dietetics and what made you step away from being a D1 athlete. And so this kind of just sums it all up in a really short video, but I'm just challenging you guys today, you know, life is short. We have one life and as much as it's good to have plans, you have to be flexible in those plans and you have to realize, you know, be honest with yourself. So I'm challenging you guys today. If you're in a season of life where you see that something isn't any longer serving you, like serving a good purpose in your life or a positive purpose in your life. If something is no longer growing you as a person or growing you into who you want to become and something is no longer adding joy and happiness to your life, you might have to realize that, you know, I thought this was the plan and I thought that this was what was best for my life, but maybe it's not. And so that's what I had to do. And you know, walking away from being a D1 athlete was not an easy decision. Even though I was miserable and unhappy, it was still, you know, scary. I was Sarah Grace the runner. And to have to give that up and realize that I wasn't Sarah Grace the runner anymore and find a new path for my life, um, it was not easy. And you know, I didn't know 100% that this was the right decision. And that's another thing guys, a lot of times you'll never know, like a lot of people are just waiting for something to drop from the sky of like, this is the right answer, this is the wrong answer, this is the right move, this is the wrong move. And that's never gonna happen, at least for most of us. And so I had to take a leap of faith, step out of my comfort zone and realize, I don't know if this is the right decision, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna trust my gut instinct and it was the best decision of my life. At first it was hard, at first it was weird, and then I invested all my free time into like my passions for healthy cooking and fitness and created the blog and Instagram, Fresh Fit and Healthy, and look, like <laughs> this is what has been my life for the past six years now, and none of this would have happened if I hadn't given up being a D1 runner because I would have never had the time to do something like this. So, you know, no matter what, like I, I am such a strong believer that all things will be turned to your good. 
that our Lord is good and that he will turn all things to our good. And so whether walking away from the team was what was right for my life or not, he turned it into amazing things and he turned it into something more than I could ever ask for or imagine, just like he promises in his word. So that is just what I wanna leave you guys with. That is why I walked away from the team and I'm just challenging you guys now to reevaluate your life. What season of life are you in? We have one life, guys, just one. How are you spending it? Are you finding meaning and purpose and passion and joy in your life right now? Or are you not? Because if you aren't, like, it might be time to reevaluate, guys. It might be time to be flexible in your plans and realize that maybe something is no longer serving you, growing you, making you happy, and it needs to go. Um, so that is what I'm leaving you off with today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comments down below as always. You know, follow me on Instagram, at Freshman Healthy if you aren't already because I'm just becoming a lot more active and consistent on there and I do a lot of stories on my Instagram story. So be checking that out. Until next time, guys. Bye.